Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Easy Paintings by Ishita. Today we'll be doing a beautiful iris painting but with a new technique that is called as a line and a wash technique. In this technique we use a pen. So this particular pen is a waterproof pen so that it doesn't bleed when water touches it. So I'm using the brand Faber Castle today. You can get any brands like Sakura or these are specially called as the Micron pens. So Sakura, Micron, Faber Castle, there are other brands as well. I'll put the link under the description. You can check it out. Those are all available on Amazon. And apart from that, if you don't want to go in for these kind of specialized pen, then you can just go in with any regular pen. So I do have one regular pen to show you, which is a gel pen. This is a regular gel pen I bought from a stationery for 10 rupees and this is also a waterproof pen. So either can work. The specialized pens are basically available in 0.5 nib, 0.2 mm nib, 0.1 for fine lines. So the artist go for those kind of artist grade pens. So these are all about the pens. We normally outline the subject that we want to do with these pens and then later fill in with uh, color washes so it is called as the line and a wash technique but uh, we can also do the abstract version in these i'll show you in future classes and today i'll be using mop brushes i'll be using my princeton long round number six brush for this painting with that i'll be using some salt so this is a pink salt or can also called as rock salt this is pretty coarse and grainy so it will give us a wonderful effect and with that uh, my colors today are from bruce throw official and uh, this is a 300 gsm watercolor uh, pen not pen but paper so let's quickly first go ahead and sketch out the painting i'm directly using my pen to sketch if you're not very confident you can just do it with a pencil first and then outline it with a pen So my drawing is now done. I'll be using cadmium yellow and cadmium orange to begin filling up my flower petals. So here I am using cadmium yellow to start coloring the petals. I will be coloring one petal at a time. So the top part of each petal will be dark and as we go in it will become lighter in shade and to do that I'll be using another brush which is clean and wet and with that I'll be dragging in the color from outside to the insides. Repeat the step one petal at a time. For the bottom two petals, I'll be using a cadmium orange. The insides will be shadowed so it will be dark and the outsides will have the lights so it has to be a lighter shade. Let's repeat the same step for the other flower as well.
So my iris flower is now done. I'm now mixing sap green with some burnt sienna to make a golden green and I will begin to shade in the other parts of the stem. So I have first mixed in some orange and then with that golden green I will be covering the rest of the stem. And here with the same gold green I have covered all of the leaf here you can do a shade variation by mixing some more greens but I'm pretty okay with what I got right now and now I have taped the edges if you can see I will be mixing in some black right now and with the help of my rock salt I'll start to make the background So now I'm using the black paint to create the background and while this part is still wet I'll be putting in the rock salt. So you have to cover up a very little area so that it still is wet and immediately put in the rock salt so that you can get those effects. So it has to be part by part. So guys, if you don't have this rock salt, you can use your normal salt that you use to eat. But then the effects are not going to be very visible because those processed salt are very, like the grains are very uh, minute. It's very powdery. So the effects are not very good. So if you have any kind of other kind of salt that are very coarse and green like big chunks, those will work the best for this kind of effect. Friends, I hope you do enjoy these kind of instructional videos. If you do, please leave me a comment telling me what you like the most and if there is anything else you would like me to add on to my future videos do hit the like button guys because unless you guys give me a feedback it is very difficult to understand what would you prefer right so do check out my other tutorials there are more than 110 tutorials on my channel all are step by step for your easy learning and till then do consider subscribing as that means a lot to me so my background is almost done now and I will let it rest for an hour so that the salt dries up and then with a fluffy brush I am removing the salt. So guys this step has to be really careful you have to check if the salt is already 100% dry if not then it will leave a mark on your flower which you don't want right. So just wait it out and then later the scratch them up with your nail or with a credit card and just remove all of the salt from the layer and once it is off you will see some beautiful effects on your paper which I'll be showing to you shortly so these were the effects I was talking to you about isn't this beautiful it's like some splash of pollens but white in color I absolutely love this effect and let's remove the tape. Do you see how beautiful it came up? I really like the effect of the frame as if the flower is coming out of the frame. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. Do try it out. If you do, tag me on Instagram at Easy Paintings by Ishita so that even I can have a look. And till then, I thank you very much for watching. Do consider subscribing and see you soon with another similar tutorial. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye.